Hello my YouTube friends and welcome back to another TFT video where we are playing Chonk's Treasure once again. And it looks like we got the Darius encounter to start us off, which is pretty rare. I think I've only seen this one a couple of times. And we got a 5 cost start. So this is looking like an Aurelia game right now. Um, we got our Rakan right here. Uh, he's one of my favorite champs actually. I love this dude. Or maybe we could go Trick Shot. We could even go Bruiser Trick Shot if we wanted to. But I'm thinking, thinking like a Dragon Lord Aurelia build would really be what I would like to go for. Hopefully, Chonk gives us something really good here to get us started. Um, that's okay, I guess. Uh, it's not the best. But maybe we could actually try Duelist, like a Duelist Dragon Lord build. I've heard that that's pretty good. And by heard, I mean I've just seen a whole bunch of people be playing Duelist lately. So I'm assuming that it's pretty good. Assuming Duelist Dragon Lord, Dragon Lord Aurelia, all of those things are probably extremely viable at the moment. And uh, that's not really what I was thinking, but I guess we'll pick him up now. Uh, I think I kind of want to pre-level though. Free leveling would be the way to go. So maybe I could hit a, a higher grade duelist or another dragon lord. I suppose Malphite would have been pretty good since if I would have hit a Kayana, I could have, you know, added some interesting stuff in there, but I'd rather pre level personally. So I'm not too bothered by it. And there's another dragon lord right there. Now that's what we're talking about. Uh, not this, I don't really care for that. Long distance pals, I don't want any of these. I don't really want any of these. I'll take stars, stars are born. Just for the sake of maybe three star on this guy right here. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, we can put this in. And there, another invoker. Ooh, I like this. This is pretty good. Now, let's give Rakan... Let's give good old Rakan some items, and I'm thinking an Adaptive Helm would be good, but I'm actually just going to put this on him so I could slam that on her, and there we go. I think that's a pretty decent starting board. Yeah, look at all the traits I have active already. That's a pretty good starting board right there. It should be enough. Oh, this guy has a way. That's... That's very lucky. I never get lucky in Sir with a Huey. I feel like Huey is one of the best starters that you could have for this game boat because you could pretty much three star everybody. Or everybody, especially like, like just one cost. You could three star all your one cost so easily with a Huey. Just kind of have to wait a few turns and then bam, you have a three star unit right there. Although I will say that it looks like we have a pretty good chance of three starring Yasuo for sure. And as long as we get we get a Diana, we're in a good spot here. Oh. <clears throat> that is not a Diana at all. I don't think we can use any of these these units right here. I think we just kind of chill out for a little bit. If we find a Riven, we definitely put her in. So we can get some Altruist going. But other than that, I'm pretty sure we just sit on it for a little bit. We just sit on it and wait. Okay, I definitely think that we might win this round. It's really hard to tell in some of these. Uh, you never know what the five cost units are going to do. They could go all crazy. Ooh, but it looks like looks like we might be good. I have no idea where I'm getting this gold from. Um. Is it this? No, it's not that. I'm not sure where, where where that gold is falling out from. But I do enjoy that it is happening, that's for sure. Now, I might be able to three-star Jaina here as well. Because we still haven't spent our stars are born for two cost yet. So we might be able to three-star Jaina as well. I think, though that I want to try to save my eco. I don't I don't really see myself rolling down to find her because I would prefer conserving my eco in order to three star a five cost, which is ultimately what I'm going for on this game, even though I know it's 
it's pretty difficult sometimes, uh, since, you know, if anybody has one, then you're kind of screwed. Oh, and it looks like this guy is going for the pure heavenly build with the Wukong, which is totally fair. I would do the same thing if I was playing this, if I was playing a Wukong as well. And I think he might get us, actually. Oh, come on, cast Rakan. Rakan. Oh, he was stunned for so long, but he did the cast. That's awesome. That's why Rakan's good right there. All right, now, what item do we need? We have very good AP items, which will help our Jaina carry, but I think we're going to have to start building some Aurelia items soon if we want her to carry us ultimately. Now, Aurelia and Rakan are very contested units, so it is sort of unlikely that we three-star them, but it's definitely still within the realm of possibility. At the very end, everybody's just trying to hold their five costs trying to three-star them so it's possible especially as people get it elimed uh we were oh no dude i really wanted that okay i'll just take this i guess i just really need a recon item if i'm not gonna get an aurelio item and none of those are aurelia items i was gonna go for the diana just to take the three dragon lord but it did not end up working out that way oh here comes trunk again Something good, buddy. Uh, Warden. Ooh, a Hextech. Well, there's nothing crazy here, but we could do that just to have an extra strong unit in. As for a Hextech Gunblade, it's kind of hard to say whether I should... I, I think Rakan wants straight tank items. I'll just put the Hextech on Jaina, which will help her, and now I can fully dedicate all of my time into trying to find some Irelia items as that is what we need right now but we at least have a Jaina in I mean she's fully kitted with items but it's kind of just a one-star unit I don't know how I mean she'll she'll carry though right she has three items three items is pretty good oh even my Nautilus got the cast which is pretty amazing oh I think we win this one yep we certainly do that was a good win, uh, and we're doing pretty well on eco. We're sitting at 41 gold right now, which is a lot of gold. Sorry, Donnie. You gotta slam some items on you, boy. Otherwise, you're just gonna... Unless he's loose streaking on purpose, you might definitely be doing that. Ash is not really something that we're looking for. She does not benefit our board whatsoever. I forgot that I was kind of like you know, peeking at duelists earlier. I don't know if I'm still going to go that. I mean, I'm definitely just looking for mostly dragon lords at this point. Trying to get as many dragon lords as I possibly can. But we are going to need some strong carries. Uh, dragon lord by itself certain, like, it definitely doesn't work just by itself. It looks like we have another Wukong. Yep, that's what it is, another Wukong. And he's holding some of our units. Uh, it looks like he's going for an invoker-based composition. Uh, so... Ooh, that's rough. That's rough. Come on, Wukong. Leave me alone, bro. Oh, dude. Lily is so good. She is so freaking good. Oh, now I know what we're getting gold from. I completely forgot about the encounter. We lost that, which really sucks. But, to be fair, we're at 50 gold, so it's not the worst thing in the world. But this guy is on a full, full-on win streak, though. Now, there is another duelist right there. There's a Kiana. And it's Zyra. Kiana and Zyra. Do I want either of those units? I suppose I could take out Invoker. But how would that help me at all? I think I'm going to hold on. Like, I really do want to pick her up. I really do want to pick Kiana up. But I'm going to hold Shall off I on that. Right? Just because I really would rather see a Jaina. Two-star Jaina, I feel like, would be a lot more beneficial to me. I already saw some other people. Uh, the guy that I just fought previously, for example, he already had a Jaina, unfortunately. So, oh, but there's one right there, right away. It's amazing. I don't want to pre-level, like I said, so losing out on this one Jaina is not going to be the worst thing in the world. And then we will do Adaptive Helm, maybe? Even Shroud and Adaptive Helm, or I could do a Redemption. 
certainly can slam another Dragon's Claw. So for the sake of mixing this up, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then this is somewhat an Aurelia item. It's not really the most optimal one. But it is an Aurelia item. I think she already shreds with her ability, so... Building this on her won't benefit her too much, so I don't think I'm going to build that on her. The good thing is, a loon. Oh, how am I shredding MR? I think a loon just shreds MR. Or is it. Is it Rakan? See the hex game. Uh, reduced. Okay, let me read this. <laughs> I'm like getting lost because I'm trying to pay attention to the fight, which we lost, dude. This guy's insanely strong. Oh, it looks like he's definitely going to get us with all of his... Okay, maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, he didn't cast. That's so sad to see happen. If he would have casted... He, he didn't even have to cast, actually. He could have just keep go kept going with the auto attacks, and it would have been really good. Slide of hand. Slide of hand would not be bad from this angle. Neither would harm assist. I think I'm going to take slide of hand, because I kind of Don't love... Prison this augments and I'm gonna put it on Silas and I think that's it I don't know if I don't know if there's anything that I can do other than this at the moment uh, I suppose I could yep okay so there is this and I will sell him and I think we just chill out for now I kind of was looking exactly for this because I thought it'd be helpful so now that we've accomplished what we were looking for we're just gonna sit on this board for now just sitting on this board for now okay uh, this is pretty sure this guy was on a pretty large win streak oh it's not that guy it's the guy right above him oh he has an Udir as well it looks like these Udir these Udirs are tough dudes this one has duelists on him with some like pretty decent items as well Oh, I'm farming gold off this guy. Oh, he's gonna... Yep, he got Jaina good. Shields! Get him! Somebody stop him! Nice. We stopped him. It's all good. No big deal. I wasn't even worried. Alright. Kha'Zix. Awesome. Next augment already. Be a prismatic. I want a prismatic augment. And that is not a prismatic. But we could lean in very heavily into... Umbral. If we really wanted to. I don't really want to, though. Oh, uh, Duelist Augment. I'm gonna take the Duelist Augment because I'm thinking... I'm still thinking Duelist might be the way to go. I definitely got another Dragon Lord, which is pretty sweet. I'm gonna do that. And Eco is still looking pretty good. So... Not too bad. Very powerful level up. I'm also very close to 3-starring Yasuo, which would just be a nice 3-star to have. He is a very tanky boy at 3-stars, even though he doesn't really have many traits going for him. I mean, he has Duelists, which is good. And I think I will keep leaning into Duelists. Duelist Dragon Lords. Man, my Rakan is putting in massive amounts of work. He is a very tanky boy with those items on him, even though he's only one starred. If I can, I will build another Thieves Gloves. So, I'm looking for gauntlets, I'm looking for a rod, which there is no rod. So, I'll take bow. And there is no gauntlet. That's, uh, it's pretty sad. I need, I need, like, multiple gauntlets. Dude, just let me get that bow, please. Let me get that bow, let me get that bow, let me get that bow. There is a... There was a Galio there. With a Warmogs, which would have been pretty good. But... I don't think I care too much. I mean... I can't add him in there later. But right now, it doesn't matter. Alright, give me something good. Give me something good. Too small... Ooh, Wits End? And two small champ dupes. I could just go for the easy three-star Yasuo. Which I, I did. I think that was a pretty decent choice. And then I will have you hold my items for me. 
and a guard breaker as well, huh? I'm not sure about the guard breaker. Let's get closer to leveling here. And now I need to find a Lee Sin for Duelist Dragon Lord. And another duelist right there. I didn't see Bully Bear. Otherwise, I would have bought him before I went under 50 gold. But we got a, another duelist, and that's really what matters at the moment. Oh. How strong is my board? Three Star Yasuo is tanking pretty hardcore. Nice. Good win. I made it above 50 gold thanks to the Darius encounter. That's nice. I. I really like this encounter. It lets you eco really, really hard. Uh, it looks like multiple people are going for Heavenly, which is really nice for me. Okay, and now we know who our opponent's going to be for the whole game, which is very useful. I think this is one of the most useful encounters, uh, especially in ranked play when you need to position around your opponent. Then it's all just a mind game after that. But I enjoy it. Okay, and now Kiana, which we also need needed her. So I can almost go level 8. I'll give up on 3 starring Darius because I just don't think I will. Uh, like a Yorick. 4 Umbral. Uh, if I, I mean, I could put 4 Umbral right now. It wouldn't be the worst thing. But let's be real. I am looking for Duelist. Let's see if anybody else is going Duelist. I kind of haven't checked. This guy is... I know, oh, I thought I saw somebody else going very heavily into Dragon Lords. This guy's going Duelist which is really sad for us. He's trying to go eight duelists. Uh, oh, that is an enormous Kogma that I really hope my team focuses quickly because, oh, I don't know if we win this one. Oh, there's no way, Chief. This guy's board is insanely strong. Kogma got really ridiculously good items on him and Wei has a Radiant Spear Shojin, which that's amazingly good on him. That is definitely the Radiant item that I would want to have if I were playing him. See, this is what I mean, though. He's just three-starring everything on a Mythic board. It's going to be pretty difficult to beat that. But I think we might still be able to. I think we might still be able to beat that, even so. Um, oh, I really want to put these items in. I just don't know who to put them on. Maybe somebody who can be an item holder and place... Maybe like a Tristana. Like a Tristana would be a, a decent item holder for Aurelia whenever I find her. Oh, and I'm level 8. And I found a Lee Sin, which I really, really wanted. Now, I'm going to sell that. And should I even keep 2 Umbral in anymore? I'm not sure. Uh, I think I'll do that. And I'll sell this. No Rage Blade, so I'll do this. And now I have pretty decent items for my Aurelia. Oh, and I have this Wormogs right here. Which I would put on that 3-star Yasuo, but I just favor Diana way more, so I'm going to put it on her. Four Dragonlord, though. I already got the Dragonlord stun. That's pretty good. Let's all my duelists ramp a little bit faster. Uh, I think this guy is really strong, though. Yeah, I think this was the guy that was wind streaking the whole beginning of the match. But our, uh, our four dragon lord really came through. Now I need another duelist. I have a Kiana. I need a Tristana or an Aurelia. So Trist, where are you? Our board is pretty strong, though, so there's no reason to freak out. No reason to freak out quite yet. Oh, I did use my gauntlet. So no no slide of hand. I, I'm not taking as much advantage as I could of that augment. It would have been nice to save the Infinity Edge gauntlet. So I would have been able to make another Thieves Gloves. Our team's going to be pretty strong though. But it would have been stronger had everybody had Thieves Gloves. Now, it's a little early in the game, but we already see this guy holding a bunch of 5 costs. That's quite a few, I would say, for this early. It's pretty lucky. Oh, the stun is so awesome. Small champ dupes, not bad. We'll take all the free loot that we can get. Oh, this guy. 
He's gonna get us. He's gonna get us. Oh, Mythic Wukong strong. Mythic Wukong strong. So is Lilia. Lilia also strong. Okay, so 68, 68 HP. We're getting close to level 9. I think I might have to go level 9 and then do a bit of a roll down in order to stabilize my board because everybody's looking pretty strong right now. I don't want to do it until after Raptors to ensure that I have a really good amount of gold, but I don't think I'm going to have a choice, especially with this guy griefing me the way that he is. He's going the same thing as me, definitely griefing me a little bit. I'm fighting him next, though. I think I think my board is just stronger than him though, from from what I saw. We'll see. He does have a way. He does have a way, but we do have the stun. Oh, that's those are cool Lisa and items, dude. Cool Lisa and items, get him, get him. Oh, come on, come on, you guys can do it. You guys can do it. Oh, I don't think they can do it. They're trying so hard. The freaking Triss, dude. Freaking Trist and seven duelists. That's unfortunate. But I should have expected somebody kind of going for the same thing I was going for. Now, unless somebody takes that Rakan, which is very likely, I would like that Rakan for myself. Can I get that Rakan for myself? Uh, it looks like that guy's going to be gifted the Rakan. He just had the heart of the cards on his side, man. There's nothing to do about that. Nothing to do about that. I really, really wanted that Rakan. You can't always get what you want, though. Hopefully this Chonk will show us the way by giving us an Aurelia. That would be pretty sweet. Come on, Chonk. Aurelia Champ Dupe. That's not it. But we did get the Champ Dupe, which I'm pretty sure happens there. Guaranteed. Uh, Lee Sin, away. Two Wukongs. Here's my little roll down I was talking about. It actually ended up being a big roll down. No big deal. Uh, I do have lots of Wukongs. So I could be playing Sage right now. Oh, my bad. Let's do this. Yikes, I didn't do it in time. Not cool, man. Sell this. I guess those uh, items would have been a pretty good on Wukong there. I might take the two-star Wukong just for the sake of spiking my board a little early, because everybody else seems to be extremely strong at the moment. And I know I, I, I said I wouldn't re-roll, like death roll the way that I did, but I did. Sometimes you do that. Sometimes you do that to survive. We lost even still. So, you know what? I keep rolling. Gonna keep rolling until I'm winning. This is necessary. Uh, it's a two-star Galio, which I I like I like this right here. Ah, eh, screw the way. Let's just do this, and then do that. Have a magnetic remover and a shroud of stillness. Let's just do that. Uh, is it me or a lot of people playing Mythic? I feel like a lot of people are playing Mythic at the moment. Anyway, I really just gotta find Aurelia. That way she can get the back line. Where is she? Oh, dude, that's an enemy Wukong right there. Yikes, the four loss streak really pains my soul. It really, really pains my soul. Uh, there's Aurelia. I knew that I was on the verge of finding her. I'm gonna go ahead and do this, Chief. And I am gonna put this. And then my Kale's all the way in the front, which is hilarious. Gonna give her... Well, let's see what we get as a drop here. Let's see what drop I get here first. And then I will decide on the items that I will... Dude, there's so many Galios. I think I could three-star him. I'm not gonna lie. I think three-starring Galio is a very possible 
for reality here. Uh, I'm gonna give her Rage Blade. Even though I'm sure Wood Send is just fine on her. I'm gonna do this. And I'll do this. And this. Okay, so I'm holding Galio here. Uh, I, if I could put in two more duelists for six duelists, that would be the ideal play. Although I'm not sure if I have to level up again in order to be able to fit it in. All right, this guy's also level nine. I, it would be pretty unfortunate if I have to sell Wukong, but I, I might have to, honestly. I'm not super duper attached. Oh, nice. Nice, I like that. Hopefully I three-star Galio. I think it's very probable. Very probable. I'm seeing quite a few. Uh, Alright, I haven't made my decision whether I'm going to put six duelists in or not. Who would I replace? I could replace... You know. Could replace Riven. But then I'd still need to level up one more time in order to put in six duelists. Because I have a Wukong. Now, I'm not going to take out Wukong, because Wukong is freaking amazing. So I, I don't want to take him out. Uh, who can I sell? Probably Triss. And just add these two. Oh, I definitely want to put in Kiana for Heavenly Bonus. I completely forgot about that. Oh, come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Nice, nice, okay. My board is a lot stronger than it was before, that's for sure. I'm gonna do this. Go, do it for the gold. All right, what are the chances I can level again? Let's see what everybody else has. So I'm not reaching a, an Aurelia this game. I'm not reaching Aurelia. Uh, who else could I go for then? Rakan? Now this guy's literally going what I'm going, so... Dude, this... This Kogma is incredible. I'm worried. Oh, I could move in those two items. Can I? Oh, too late. Too late. I think this guy beats me. Which is a little sad. But, I mean, he's so freaking strong, man. This is incredibly powerful. Yikes. Yeah, that's... Dude, that's incredible. Are those my chests? Can I have that? I can. Yikes, dude. Yikes. Uh, if that guy was Elamed, we would be doing pretty good. But I think I'm going to roll down on this next round. Otherwise, I'm dead anyway, pretty much. I'm going to roll down, hopefully hit a two-star Aurelia. Call it a day. See how it goes. Now, I didn't really check what item to go for, but this for Galio seems pretty good. I think I am going to roll down here. There's no way it's going to give me enough money to go level 10, right? And even if I do go level 10, I'm not sure putting 6 duelists in would be enough. It might be, but I'm not. I'm just not sure. Alright, so sell this. Add in this. Show me the money, Chunk. Okay, that is certainly money, but not what I needed. Okay. That's pretty good. We'll take that. A three-star Galio will serve us greatly. in our quest for success. And then a uh, Morellos. Who do I give this to? I'm not sure. I'll just give it to her. All right, hopefully a three-star Galio lets us live long enough to win this. And take this guy's Aurelius. Oh, our Aurelia is definitely thriving right now. Come on, come on. Get Elim, bro. Get Elim. We just farmed so much gold off of him, dude. We just farmed so much gold off that guy. That's awesome. Alright, who are we fighting next, though? Uh, this guy's going for a Lissandra. 
This guy's going for a Nautilus, I think. So it's this guy. A lot of Nautilus going on. All right, we'll take the kill because we're dead if we don't, so. Uh, hmm, six Duelists would still be really, really good. But I really want a two-star Aurelia. Two-star Aurelia, come on. Where is she? Where is she? Dude, that's a lot of Lissandras right there. I think I'm gonna hold her, because like some guy is like pretty close to hitting her, right? It's a lot of Lissandras here. I'm gonna forgo the duelists. Yikes, dude. Lissandra actually counters me so hard. She counters me so freaking hard. Oh no. Oh dude, it's it's close. It's close. Nice. Hey, thanks, bro. I'll take your Lissandra right here so you never, ever three-star her. Because I don't want that at all. Okay. Two-star Rakan. Getting close. Who else is alive? This guy. Uh, this guy is very close to... What is it? Uh, Nautilus, maybe? What's this guy going for? I can't even tell. There's just so many units. Is anybody else running Lissandra? It does not look like there is. I'll definitely sell her. I don't think anybody else is running Rakan either. At least I don't... Yeah, I'm pretty sure nobody else is running Rakan. There's two-star Aurelia. Lee Sen, maybe? Uh, Okay, so haven't found him yet. This guy's so strong, man. I really hope I don't lose to him right away. I'm one Rakan away. I just wasn't fast enough to sell all my stuff because I was a little nervous. So I'm not gonna lie. I'm just so close. I, I was pretty nervous for it. If I live this round, I sell my whole board in hopes of finding a Rakan. I don't think anybody else is playing him. Come on, two star Aurelia, I believe. Oh no. Oh come on, just get a few more units and maybe uh maybe I'll live. Oh my heart is racing. My heart is racing so fast. Oh come on, come on. Oh please, please. Oh one away, dude. I should have sold the whole board. It's a third. I'm gonna play another one. <laughs>